That, to, to me, that's a street. And normally they have one name, right? Here, some streets change names every intersection. So, for example, the one that just crossed back there on my right-hand side, that was Hubachstrasse. Um, and then if I had gone links, if I had gone left, it would have been you know, Universitätsstrasse. And if we had gone yet another block, I hope, I hope I'm not screwing this up, it would have become uh, Yuri Gagarinstrasse. Yuri Gagarinstrasse. Um, anyway, we're kind of like halfway. The campus is not as tall as in north-south as it is wide east-west, so I'm already halfway halfway up, but that big building there, that's kind of the main administrative building. Um, a lot of the faculties, or colleges as we would call them, are located in there. Now here is the, the famous library. The uh, Informations, Communications and Medienzentrum, ICAMZ. ICAMZ, yeah. building looks especially nifty on days like today. Maybe it doesn't come through on the camera, that would be a shame, but it does look really neat. Now what you got here is you've got... There's a weird kind of modeled pattern that's uh, on the outside of this building. They look like letters, but you, it doesn't seem like you can read anything. It looks like a bunch of... looks like noodle soup is what it looks like. Um, and that's actually printed onto sheets of glass that are attached to the outside of the building. But both sides of the glass are exposed to the elements. There's another layer of glass on the inside, on the, in, on the inside of that, that actually is the weatherproof facade of the building. Um, this building, the outside of it, except for the roof I assume, is entirely glass. It is an energy hog. Which is strange for a campus, for a university that prides itself on, on what, um, on um, you know, energy consciousness. To, uh, let's just say. Um, so anyway, it's all glass, uh, but there's obviously a lot of uh, beams uh, for the fencers and for, for the windows and things like that. And so the big, uh, you can see them all. The big uh, um, hanging, what do you call them, lamps, um, it's not coming to me, but uh, those, those lights come and, come and go, it's like, it's like driving by a Christmas tree that's got Christmas lights embedded deep into the branches, it flickers, it's pretty neat. Um, I'm actually not going to go in because if I really want to go into the library, then I have to take off my jacket, I have to take my, my backpack, and I have to lock it up in a, uh, in a locker, and that's just going to be more hassle than I feel like going through right now, but uh, we'll do that some other time. That's the inside of the library. I guess this is just going to be a another long, a long video, but I assume everyone finds the videos more interesting when they're out and about, out and about in the town, seeing the sights. We'll go across the street. We'll go into the, we'll walk through the building there, and uh, we'll take a look at the Menza next. The Menza is what we would call the cafeteria. Then they also have a cafeteria, which is what we would call... Well, it's still a cafeteria, right? But it's a la carte. Um, and then there's also a brasserie. That's where you can buy pizza and... One thing I do find interesting is that um, you can buy beer in the Menza, the cafeteria. 
in the brasserie. But that's just kind of normal here, I guess. Although, really, I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually buy and drink a beer in the Mensa, but the option's there if you want it. There's really nothing particularly interesting about the inside of this administrative building, though. We'll just walk right through. Here's the Mensa. You may be able to read the word cafeteria up there. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Hmm. There's the uh, Tzethagi, the ZHG, the central main building. There's three big um, lecture halls in there. And they're all very strange. I'll, I'll show you one sometime, but they did not design it so that you cannot get in and out of the rows without fully disturbing everyone else there. It's very, it's very tight quarters. But that's also where, um, you may actually be able to see, <laughs> there's the top level of one of the uh, lecture halls. Every Tuesday, that's where they have, in the Tsethage, that's where they have the uh, Unikino uh, University movie night, I suppose. Um, we're now walking west through the campus. This is kind of one of the main Fusgang and so on. Over there, you can drive a car. I don't think it costs anything to park here. Um, most students don't have a car anyway. Um, I honestly don't know what most of these buildings are for. Although, you can read it off the placards. Um, but I, I, I really, my time is really restricted to just two or three buildings. Um, down there is the, uh, Sporthalle. That's where I play volleyball every Thursday. 